What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new feature I think could be huge for eFootball 2025. This is an idea I've had for a while. It's very simple, but I think it could be really nice. And let me know what you guys think. So, 900 coins. A lot of people that spin will have seen this screen multiple, multiple times. I know people that have spent thousands on their squad for eFootball 2023, 4. And I know people that have stayed free to play. And listen, everybody wants to play with Cantona, Messi, Dennis Law, Ronaldinho, Neymar. All the big time cards. There is kind of a nice feeling, obviously, when you have these cards, when you're opening these cards. If you are spinning, you can afford to spin. Obviously, everyone comes from different backgrounds and different walks of life with money and stuff. But there is no doubt that playing with Maradona, Pirlo, it is fun, man. It is fun. And while there is a bigger debate to be had about the split between free players and players you can get with, you know, in-game currency compared to the premium cards, this is definitely the route that they've gone, I think. And it's been financially so successful for them. I mean, their profits are up 500% since last year. And obviously, if you are going to be spinning, 12,000 coins are going to cost you 100 euro or around 80 pounds. Now, obviously, there's no doubt that these players can be really nice. All the premium cards, obviously, you know, depending on the gameplay and the servers and all that. But if it's just straight up, you can have a lot of fun with these cards. And of course, you can play and have fun and get to Division 1 and dominate with free cards as well. But sometimes you might want to play with legends like Torres and stuff like that. And I definitely think that if you are playing free to play... You are kind of, you know, people, it's, it's not fair that people are missing out if you're staying free to play on these type of cards that are going to be coming out or potentially going to be coming out in eFootball 2025 and so on and so forth, right? So I definitely think that this is a good idea. Obviously, this is kind of the direction where there's loads of brand new cards coming out. You've got young version of players like young Maldini. You've got Puyol from their Euro winning season or Euro winning campaign. Then you also have new legends that they've kind of added to the databases and stuff like Tony Adams. And it's always going to be about, you know, what players you guys want to play with. You know, Adriano, Figo, uh, Eto, Shevchenko. A lot of these guys we grew up watching, you know, and a lot of these unreleased cards or yet to be released cards or recently released cards like Totti, Baggio, Pirlo, Del Piero, Lampard, Beckham. A lot of people will have a lot of memories. It's not just about playing with the most dominating cards. Now, one thing that Konami did that kind of ties into this idea uh, is kind of that they released this free Beckham bar, right? Now, I'm just going to hide my screen here for a sec, but this Beckham bar here, right, was a free uh, objective that you got for spinning and you also got these spins from logging in, simply logging in and completing campaign objectives and also just logging into the game. There was a lot of different ways to get these spins. And also, it's not beyond Konami that they gave us the free Neymar and also they've given us some beastly free cards. I mean, if you look at these free cards from literally logging in 15 seconds and taking a penalty, whether you win or you know lose the penalty shootout, if you score or you don't, you're going to be getting in-game Costa Corta, really, really good uh, Maradona, and, and Wilshire is a fantastic card as well. So they are giving out good cards for free, and some of the nominating contracts com can compete as well. But it kind of got me thinking as to what could be a good idea. And the fact that they've added the badge system, which we'll get to in a second, and also the fact that they already have the infrastructure here for the objectives, right? If you take a look at these objectives that they have here, King of the Continent, Weekly, and Career Objectives, I definitely think this feeds into the idea and the narrative that they might go down this route. I just think they need to be a little bit brave and a little bit creative with how to actually reward players for that want to grind the game and get something to grind. Because, as I said, we'll keep seeing it from screen to screen. You're getting an end game level Mbappe here. You're getting about 10 free Messies or 5 free Messies with 5 premium Messies throughout the year. All for simply playing the game. Scoring goals, completing objectives, you know, beating the AI, you know, winning in co-op. All of these can be claimed, right? You get free coins, you get everything, okay? But I think if they extend this out and push the boat out a little bit further... This is what I think could be a really good idea, right? So on this screen, I have a mock-up done of a monthly challenge. And these are four or five challenges that you can complete within the month with, that's tied to Match Pass. Tie it to Match Pass and that everyone can achieve this. You don't need to put in any coins. You don't need to put in anything. You can make the challenges as hard or as easy as you possibly want. Now, of course, if you want to spin for Ronaldinho, he will be in a pack for the month that you can spin for the month. I know people that have literally been on holidays and they've missed out the chance on spinning for their favorite players and they have to wait six months to spin again. So I think that needs to change as well and just have one big transfer market or one big open market that you can spin for any player at any time. Score 50 goals online, train 15 AC Milan players, beat a Legend AI and log in maybe 25 out of the 30 days. Once you complete all these challenges and you work your way through them, there is nothing left up to chance. You just get Ronaldinho, you're able to redeem him, right? 
if it's going to cost you maybe 15, 20 hours to grind this, like training the AC Milan players, obviously these are just examples. You could make it, or Konami could make it as difficult as possible, or as long as possible. NBA 2K do this in a really good way. But simply, when you have all of these objectives complete, you would simply navigate to the redeem button, press the redeem button, and then you're straight in and you get Ronaldinho. Now, as I said, they've already shown us that they've done this with Beckenbauer, where, you know, they've done it with Neymar for taking a couple of penalties. They give free cards for simply logging in. You had the festive Mbappe, you had the festive Tio Hernandez, you had the nominating contract Rudiger, Costa Corta, Maldini. But I think having this and having a really, really, really good player that you could grind for would mean that after six months, you could potentially have six endgame level players without spending a penny and also, it would be retention for the customer from Konami's point of view that players are logging in and actually playing the game rather than just taking the penalty. And also, on top of that, it would, it would mean that you've got more kind of variety in the players that you could bring out. You could bring out very unique players. Now, on the badge menu here, right, they've already started to implement some of this stuff. And I definitely think they could just tie it to this. Genuinely, I don't think that there's that much out there to tie it to this. As I said, I think it just takes a little bit of creativity and instead of giving everything for free where you're simply logging in and pressing three buttons to take a penalty and eventually you're going to get Beckenbauer or eventually you're going to get Wilshire or eventually you're going to get Maradona, why not do it this way? What do you guys think? I mean, it's something simple, a little bit of grinding. If you had 20 hours of grinding every month, along with the rest of your events, along while you're doing it in the background passively, you're playing matches passively, and you're just getting the objectives unlocked while working towards a specific card that you could upgrade, you could unlock for free. Let me know what you guys think. It's something simple, it sounds simple, um, but let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you in a little bit. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And we're going to be doing a bit more eFootball 2025 content very soon. Peace.